Hey there! So, in case you don't know what's happening, I'm doing a lot of college-related videos this week. Um, two days ago, I... Um, what did I do? Two days ago, I talked about my spreadsheet for colleges and sort of how I methodically went through and analyzed different places. Um, yesterday I read one of my two college essays, and today I'm going to read the other one. I'm really proud of this one. This actually is not technically an essay. It's called a personal statement. I spent weeks editing this thing because I could not get it down to 500 words. Finally I submitted it with 496, and my admissions counselor genuinely thanked me for the privilege of reading my essay, so I guess it was worth it. Um, so the prompt is, please submit a personal statement describing how you'll contribute to the academic, spiritual, and community life uh, of the college. This is also for Calvin, so at Calvin. I don't know Greek. My Latin teacher taught me the alphabet, which I don't remember, but I learned enough to get through theology classes. Three of the words I remember are the Greek terms for life. Bios, Suki, and Zoe. Side note, I don't know how to pronounce Suki. So. And Zoe. Bios life is the life of existence. It's found within cells. It flows through my bo broken body, my muscles straining to compensate for what my connective tissue cannot do. It is the pumping of my heart that forces my lungs to cooperate, however unwillingly. It is the life that every illness threatens the life I cling to. My bios life changed in December of what became my first attempt at 11th grade. That year I received a hepatitis B vaccine in preparation for an international mission trip, which trashed my immune system by awakening a genetic disorder within my body. However, I did not surrender. Through God's grace, I found the strength to return to school with a new fervor. If existence is going to be draining, then I might as well be drained while serving God and enjoying Armed with that belief, I will contribute as much as I can to life at Calvin, such as diving into the theater community and fellowship groups. The second Greek word for life is suki. It is the life of our minds. Suki is the dwelling place of the fear I felt before diagnosis and of my current frustrations over chronic pain live. But it also so much more. It's where my passion for literature, politics, and youth ministry live where bits of a melody emerge and where conversation ideas dwell. Suki life is where all of academia exists, and I aim to contribute to Calvin's academic and community life both by sharing with others and learning from them, whether it be about what's on the syllabus or what's weighing on our hearts. Zoe is the final term for life, and it's the one that is most important. It is the rich, infinite life God offers to us in John 10.10. 10. Zoe is the abundant joy that comes from knowing and serving God. It is the water that quenches all thirst, the oil that does not run out. This life that God offers us is sustaining. It is the life that will make the incredible pain of my joints that winter exacerbates not only bearable, but worthy of celebration. It is the life that makes learning about the world God has created so wonderful. It is this life that drives communities together, so much so that as Christians, one of the most sacred things we do is to commune with each other and God. I've learned since that vaccination that I cannot promise my physical ability to be present on any given day, and who am I to foresee what my mind will do? But I promise I will lead a life of overflowing joy, because God has promised it to me. Unless I got my creek wrong. So that's, um, that's an essay. Um, and I want to talk a bit about the personal statement, because I know it can be super overwhelming. Basically, <coughs> the personal statement is supposed to be a lot more whatever. It's more about you than formality. I think I wound up writing an essay for my personal statement, and a personal statement for my essay, because the essay is much more analytical and about the college, whereas the personal statement is more about you and what you've, like, experienced and who you really are. So if you watched yesterday's video, I talk about being, like, a storyteller and I talk about these stories that happened to me or that I was involved in, and that was really, like, a personal statement. 
this was much more like a college essay. And it's important that you answer all parts of the prompt. This is true for any essay, but especially two kinds of essays. Number one, AP Lit essays, and number two, college essays. Answer all parts of the prompt. In this case, it asks how are you going to contribute to life at Calvin, but not only that, it asks about three specific types of life. Academic, um, I think cultural, and spiritual, um, because it's a Christian college. So I had to hit all three of those, and I wound up um, tying three Greek words to those three things, not necessarily their direct translations, but um, also, if you're applying to a Christian place, citing Bible verses is not a bad idea. And that's all I got for you. I hope you have a great day.